Okay, so one of the ways that when you open up a bot, you don't one thing you don't want to do is use your own IP address because then if you have too many bots running off of your IP address at your home, your IP could potentially get banned. So what you want to do is you want to use a proxy so that way you can use several different um, IP addresses. And so if we want to talk about proxy settings here, if we click on proxy settings, you'd notice that you can enable proxies and you would, this is an example, but you would have several proxies with username and password. And you can also say um, how many accounts per proxy. They do recommend that you do three to five, I think, per proxy. So you don't have too many accounts because if you got 100 accounts, coming out of same IP address, then what's going to happen is IgG is going to find out that you got way too many accounts and there's no way for one person to be running that many accounts. So in order to avoid ban, you want to go ahead and get proxies from a proxy seller and you want to say so many five accounts or whatever you may be, maybe three accounts per proxy and you can distribute proxies among all of your castles. So I can press on distribute. It will reassign all the proxies to all the accounts evenly or how many ever you told. Or So if I have like 10 proxies, then if I say three per proxy, then I can have up to 30 accounts, right? Or I've gone as far as like five per proxy and you can distribute the proxy among your accounts. And then you also have option to reset all proxies or all account proxies, which means it basically removes them all and then redistributes them all. Or maybe actually it does not redistribute. You wanna just remove it all and then, so let's say you remove them all and then you redistribute all the proxies that way. And then of course, uh, you can make sure you can check the proxy. This is an example proxy, so it's not going to work, but it should turn blue or green once, see this one is red, which means this proxy does not work. Right. So you wanna get the proxies that you actually can purchase. And let me show you where you can actually purchase the proxies and I'll have a link on the bottom. Okay, so if I go to proxyseller.com, um, there's also a link in the description. You can actually get there. Uh, it will bring you to this site, and this is where you can get your proxies. So let's say I go to IPv4. I can maybe say proxy of US or wherever I may be. I can rent them for how many ever, how long ever period that I want to rent it for. Um, I would recommend maybe one month first just to see how it goes and we'll do one and we'll tell you it's going to cost you $1.70 for a proxy and if you scroll down a little bit below you see how much proxies cost so depending on the country that you want to set your proxies up from you can purchase different proxies and let's say we go to buy proxy uh, select a goal. I'm going to do online gaming. Select a service uh, that you can actually find Lords Mobile. Quantity of proxy one month. And you can actually scroll down and purchase your proxy. And I'm not going to. Uh, uh, whatever. Proxy buyer at gmail.com, whatever it may be. Of course, this doesn't work. And then you can go pay and purchase your proxy and you should receive an email from them uh, when your proxy is ready. And that's uh, how you do it. Okay, so once you get your proxy through your email from the proxy buyers, you wanna go ahead and double click on your account here and check on assign proxy on your left. And right now I have it as none, but if you do have an uh, actual proxy 
this right here is not an actual proxy but if you do then you can click on it and be able to get your proxy number that way and assign it to that that way you can evenly distribute all your accounts through different proxies so you may need more than one proxy depending on how many accounts you have but that is how you assign your proxy and again you can buy it from uh, proxy sellers and the one that I found useful was proxy seller um, you'll find the link in the description and that's what proxy is all about so on my next videos I'll be going over different functions and different setups and templates and things like that um, I'll, there's gonna be a lot of videos about this software so uh, stay tuned and see you guys on the next video thanks